Hi everyone, welcome to Pop Paul's Workshop. You know, on that last video that I did on the turntable, I made a big mistake. And you guys pointed it out, and I'm glad that you did. So today, I'm fixing that mistake. I'm erasing that misspelled word and putting it back right. Let me show you how I did it on the CNC machine. So let's get started. Okay, everyone, today's the day that we're going to take this off and erase it and put the new correct spelling on. You know, accidents happen in the shop, and this is one of them. I didn't even realize that I had misspelled this until you guys had commented on it, and I looked at it, and I just had to laugh. But the good thing about woodworking is that when you make a mistake... You have to own up to it because there's nobody else around to be able to blame. And you got to figure out how to fix it. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to take this over to the CNC machine. And we're going to erase this word. And then we're going to put the correct spelling in. Now the first thing that I've got to do... Of course, is remove these so that it can lay flat on the CNC machine. I don't have much workbench space left because I've got several flags that I'm making right now. This particular one is drying. I've got to be able to ship that one out in just the next day or two. All depends on how fast this dries. I think we can do it a little bit faster if I use the drill. Yeah, much faster. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and get this set up on the CNC machine now. And I'm going to show you how I do that. Now, to be able to set this up on the CNC machine so that this is flat, I've got to consider this lip back here. So basically what I have to be able to do is put a auxiliary wasteboard onto the CNC machine to be able to support this so that this will become flat again. So what I've done if I put a piece of half inch plywood down and secure that to the waste board. So this half inch piece of plywood now becomes my auxiliary plywood, auxiliary waste board. And this little lip is going to sit right over on top of it. Now I put this bump stop here so that slides right up next to it and that gets it square. So now I'm going to secure this down and I'll be ready to start to carve. So this surface is now flat and supported. So what I've done to be able to secure this in place is I put two screws in here and that holds it good and flat and solid to my waste board. Plus, I put another bump stop up on this area to hold it. So now this panel will not move at all. Now what I've done is I've set my X, Y, zero point for right here in the bottom left hand corner. And I used the 90 degree bit. Because now what I'm going to do is go ahead and change this bit to a flat bit that's 0.75. And I really would have a difficult time trying to get the exact home position using a bit that that's large. So now that I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way and mount that bit into position. So this is the bit that I'm going to use to erase my misspelled word. It's a flat bit that's three quarters of an inch in diameter. Now to make this work, all I need to be able to do is come up and make a rectangle the size of my workpiece. 
I'm just going to drop that in there. And what I'm just going to do is come up here and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So I want the shape. We're going to make that 7.5 inches wide and we're going to make it 1.5 inches tall. And then I'm going to center that to the material itself. And now it covers my workpiece completely. Now as far as the depth, I don't need to go very deep. The original car was at point one, but I don't think it actually carved all the way that deep. So what I'm going to do is start out at a point five, point zero five, and be able to carve that. Because remember at the point one, that actually would be rather deep and I would rather do this twice than to be able to have it go too deep. So again, I'm going to go ahead and set this at .05 and I'll be able to carve. So I'm going to go ahead and carve this. So I'll we'll select carve, material thickness is set. It is secure. I am using the .75 straight cut bit. Confirm the bit. And now let's go ahead and probe it. To probe this, because I'm at the XY0 point, I need to actually move the machine. So what I'm going to do is move it up a little bit. Now that gets me actually on to the wood. I'll let you go over here so you can see that. And now we'll probe. So we confirm our position, the clip is attached, we're going to make contact with it, yes. And we'll do the probe. There we go. Now then, we'll put the probe away, I'll move this back to the XY0 point. That's my location. I'll bring this back up to the monitor. So now that I have the spindle in position, then I'm just going to click the set zero. We'll turn this on. And let the erasing begin. A lot of people don't think about erasing the wood, but yes indeed, you can use the CNC machine as a great big eraser and erase a misspelled word. Now I had this make several passes, but you can see that it's not going quite deep enough. So I think what I'm going to have to do now, since it's back and it's finished to carve, I'm going to go ahead and change the setting to 0 .03 and repeat this process to finish erasing the entire word. Okay, we're all set now. I've changed the depth of cut to 0 .03 and I'm ready to carve one more time. Now again, this is set up to do multiple passes, but I think as you see this, on the very first pass, it actually eliminates the remainder of the word. So the mistake is now gone, but I'm gonna go ahead and let it continue the process and completely go through the cycle again. And I now have a clean slate to work with back at the very beginning. Now what I've done is I marked the center point and this is going to be my XY0 point for carving out the letters. Now I went ahead and moved the spindle right over to my XY0 point. So this is actually set. So now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and raise the spindle up and I can go ahead and start my carve checklist. Okay everyone, now you can look to see one more time if I misspelled the word. <laughs> Hopefully not. But at least you know now that you can erase a mistake and re-carve it.
it's not that big of a deal. Okay, I took it off the CNC machine and I put one coat of the sealer on it. So as soon as this dries, I'm going to go ahead and paint it and we'll get it back together. Now to do this painting, it only takes just a tiny bit of paint. That should be more than enough. And all I get to do is just dab it in and just make sure that I have the coverage. Now I've said this before, but I'll say this again. If this was a project that I wanted to make sure that there was 100% no bleeding of this black paint into the wood, I would actually seal this with at least two to three coats. But this is just a shop fixture and I'm not that concerned. So if there's a slight bit of bleeding into the wood, it's really not a big deal. But you can see as far as painting this, as long as I have good coverage, that's really all that's necessary. There's really no art to this part at all. What you're looking for is coverage because it will show up big time if you miss a spot and you don't have good coverage in one of the letters. See, there's a spot right there that I missed and that would definitely show up. The other thing that's nice about this acrylic paint is that this will dry really fast. So once I get this finished painting, I just let it dry for just a few minutes and I'll be able to sand the surface and we'll be able to call this project done. And it will be like this mistake never happened. Other than the fact that all you guys know out there. But that's okay. I'm going to look over it one more time and make sure. All right, we'll let that dry. I'll go wash out my brush and wait for it to dry. Now that the paint's dry, I'm just going to sand this off with 220 grit paper. The sanding actually goes very quick. This is a small piece of wood. It's only one inch wide. So to be able to sand this, it goes very quickly. And the results actually are quite amazing. It makes it look really good, really professional. And in looking at it, there's really virtually no bleeding of the black paint into the wood. And there we go, all finished. Let me put this back together now and I'll get it back on the wall. So this is all back together and I have the words completed. there we have it <laughs> projects all completed now and it works great it is as if it never happened hi everyone thank you for watching my video today if you like the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload also check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop so again, thank you for watching my videos.